Para sa ating first question, the phase B line voltage and the phase A line current of a balance three phase system RV is equals to 220 sin WT plus 210 degrees and I is equals to 10 sin WT minus 30 degrees respectively. What is the power of the system? Para sa first problem natin, meron tayong line B voltage na 220 volts at line current na IA 10 bar negative 30 degrees ampere. Ang tinatanong, ano daw yung power na system? Ang power na system ang tinatanong, PT is equals to square root of 3 VL IL cosine theta. Ang challenge dito sa problem na to, manggagaling dito sa theta kasi di ba yung theta is theta ng voltage minus theta ng current. At yung dalawang given natin, magkaiba sila ng pase. Bali, ang kailangan natin gawin, either kunin natin yung VA or sabihin natin, i-adjust na lang natin yung IA papuntang IB. I-assume natin na Y yung system At di ba sinabi balance So kung balance yan Equally displaced by 120 degrees At equal yung magnitude For this problem Ang gagawin ko Ang imumove ko na lang yung VB Kukunin ko yung VA Ang other form nito is 220 bar negative 150 degrees volts Balik kahit natin gamitin mo dyan Parehas lang yan Balik magte-tracing tayo Gamit ito Nalabas sa phasor diagram natin Nandito banda yung VB Bali, negative 150 siya. At yung distance naman ng VA, 120 degrees, di ba? Pero pipihit tayo ng counterclockwise. Masasabi natin, nandito yung VA. So, yung VA nakalocate by negative 30 degrees. Kasi, di ba, ang distance nila is 120 degrees. Tandaan, line pa lang to. E, di ba, meron tayong principle na at Y, yung B phase lags VL by 30 degrees. Tandaan ang kailangan natin angle dito is parehas face. At alam naman natin, di ba yung IL is equal sa I face. Ibig sabihin, ito na din yung angle nung current mo. Yung angle na lang nung face voltage ang kailangan. So, kung yung line voltage mo is nakalocate sa negative 30 at naglalag siya, e di masasabi natin yung VA face is nasa negative 60. At yung IA naman is nasa negative 30. Pwede na natin masolve yung problem. Bali yung total power natin is equal sa square root of 3. So, yung VL natin which is 220 volts at yung IL natin na 10 ampere. Cosine, ito yung magtotoos. Angle ng voltage, negative 60 degrees minus yung angle ng current, diba? Which is negative 30 degrees. At magkakaroon tayo ng sagot dyan na 3,300 watts at letter B siya. Ayan ang sagot natin sa problem number 1. But wait! There's more! Kapag sinolod mo ng haphazard na yan, lalabas yung ibang item as a answer. Sabi na lang natin, nag square root of 3 to 20 volts times 10 ampere ka diretso. Ang magiging sagot mo dyan is 3,810.517 which is yung letter D. Pero alam naman natin, mali yan, ba? At isa ba, kapag tinry mo yung 220 volts times 10 ampere, nakalimutan mo yung square root o sin 30 degrees ang lalabas naman ng sagot is 1,905.225 watts which is letter A pero yung mga yan is wrong answer so pakitandaan, ingat kayo sa problem na to kasi kapag nagkamali ka mag-solve, nasa choices yung mga yun so hindi mo siya malalaman na mali since diba, once na makuha mo yung maling sagot, eh nasa choices diba, iisipin mong tama kasi diba yung sinag mong mali lumabas dun sa choices so ingat na lang kayo sa mga ganong problem at ayan yung problem number one natin. Para sa ating second question, a 132kV line, three-phase system delivers 70.7 MVA of a balanced delta load of power factor 70.7%. Determine the reactance necessary to attain unity power factor. Para sa ating second problem, power factor correction naman yung tanong. Pero yung power factor correction natin ngayon is three-phase. Ang hinahanap yung reactance na kailangan para ma-attain yung 
yung unity power factor. Meron tayong line voltage na 132 kb at balance load na 70.7 times 10 raised to 6 volt ampere or 70.7 megavolt ampere. At yung initial power factor niya is 70.7%. So, paano natin hanapin ngayon itong XC? Yung XC, mahanap natin through the formula of QT is equals to 3 times VL squared over XC. Bali, yung XC lalabas na 3 times VL squared over QT. Or yung QT na yan, yan yung tinatawag na Q na kapasitor, yung Q cap. Kung naalala nyo, di ba, yung kupitan natin, so Q cap is equals to P tangent theta 1 minus tangent theta 2. Dumalabas, ang kulang natin dyan, yung dalawang theta in terms of P, ang P natin, yung parang lotion nyo lang, di ba, merong Try New Nivea Extra Life Firming Body Serum with SPF 33. SPF. So, S times power factor sa buwan. In terms sa theta natin, so yung theta sa buwan natin is inverse cosine ng 0.707. It will take account to 45 degrees. At sa theta sub 2 naman natin, di ba, hindi na tinatanong yan. Kasi di ba, kung unit yung power factor, ang angle mo is 0. So, pwede na natin masagutan yan. Yung Q ng kapasitor natin ngayon is equals to 70.7 times 10 raised to 6 times yung power factor 0.707. Multiply by tangent 45 degrees minus tangent 0 degrees. At magkakaroon tayo ng Q na kapasitor 49.99 times 10 raised to 6 volt ampere reactive. At since nakuha na natin yan, pwede na natin makuha yung XC. So yung XC natin is equals to 3 times yung line voltage natin. 132 times 10 raised to 3 volts. So kilovolts, di ba? Tapos squared. All over. 49.99 times 10 raised to 6 volt ampere reactive. At yung magiging reactance natin na necessary para ma-attain yung unity power factor is equals to 1045.44 ohms. At ayan yung sagot natin para sa pangalawang problem dito sa review na to.